students last week we learnt about uh, simple past tense questions as well hmm? this is what we learnt last week so we discussed this particular article so there were questions in this article right simple past tense questions so if i remind you all on the simple past tense questions you all can see did you finish so when you say did you finish it's a simple past question no? simple past question did is the word that is used at the front to form a question in the simple past did you finish so the verb has to be written in the base form when you use did verb has to be written in the base form that is something that we learned last week did you finish you can see here did he win did he win so did is the question form in the past tense and win is the base form of the verb so did he win did you finish what did he do okay so did is the question form did he do did he do so what did he do we put another question word as well what did he do so likewise this is how the simple past tense questions are formed this is what we learned last week okay now yes no questions in the past tense okay so how do you form a question in the past tense you have to use did at the beginning and then you use the subject i you we they he she it and then you use the base form of the verb so finish is the base form of the verb most of the times what we see is when students write a question in the past tense they write did he finished the report this is how they write they write did he finished finished is incorrect why the reason is ed when you use did you can't use the past form of the verb you have to use the base form of the verb base form is finish so you can't say did he finished the report definitely it has to be did he finish did he finish the report did he finish the report that's how it has to be written so that's where the uh, learning is there for you all when you write a sentence or when you write a question in the simple past tense always remember if it is a question it should start with did in the simple past tense and the verb has to be written in the base form base form finish did i finish the report did you finish the report did we finish the report that's what you need to remember okay so when you ask a question like that your short answer will be yes i did no i didn't yes i did no i didn't or did not no i didn't or did not okay right okay right now let's look at how we can use simple past tense in sentences okay so let's look at this exercise exercise 2.1 simple pass yes no questions okay liliana heard about blake mikoski sorry yeah lake mikoski and then went to a trade show for entrepreneurs okay liliana heard about blake mikoski and then went to a uh, trade show for entrepreneurs entrepreneurs can we was i can we are para patangatta entrepreneurs we are para can complete the questions in the simple past hari me trade show ekkada gihilla thina meke thina questions tika simple past ke me questions tik complete kaane kela thine use the words in parenthesis so parenthesis means you all know it's the brackets no it's the brackets okay right let's see liliana did you have a good weekend yeah you have means have is the verb because you all know how can be used as a verb then when you want to ask a question in the simple past tense did has to be used did you have a good weekend yeah pretty good how about you yes very good you go out okay so if you have to form a question in the simple past tense then what you have to do is did you go out did you go out right this how you ask the question did you go out did is used to form the question 
did you go out base form of the verb go out while yet again did you go out yeah i went out with aisha on saturday or you go some interesting okay so you go means you is the subject go is the verb so how do you form a question you form a question did you go some interesting or did you go some interesting did you go some interesting yeah we went to a trade show there were lots of exhibits exhibits can a pradarshana band exhibits kela can a pradarshana band there were lots of exhibits from new companies a trade show i didn't know you were interested in business yes i'm very interested in it space i tell so i is the subject tell is the verb so you can form the question did i tell you did i tell you about my grandmother's company did i tell you about my grandmother's company so here also you can see did is the question when you ask a question in the simple past tense you need to use did at the beginning and then the subject then the verb did i tell you about my grandmother's company no my grandmother had her own clothing design company so i want to do something like that i want to do something like that so here you can see when you want to ask questions what we have done is always we have used did at the beginning and then the subject and then the verb so that's how you ask questions in the simple past tense let's look at this one really space you see any design companies there okay so you is the subject c is the verb so how do you form a question very easy did you see you use the base form of the verb when you use did okay always you have to use the base form of the verb when you use did did you see any design companies there yeah we saw some a lot of the companies owners are young entrepreneurs space you speak with any interesting people you speak you is the subject speak is the verb then when you want to form a question you write did you speak na no? did you speak with any interesting people did you speak with any interesting people yeah i spoke with the owner of a men's tie company he designs his own fabric fabric killer can ready right fabric killer can ready yeah i spoke with the owner of a men's tie company he designs his own fabric hmm space he have any good ideas for you okay he is the subject have is the verb then how do you write this question did he have did he have any good ideas for you some students make the mistake now he is the subject here so they they write the question as did he has okay did he has no in the past tense it doesn't become did he has okay in the past tense it's always have because you have to use the base form of the verb since it is he it doesn't become has in the past tense it's always have did he have any good good ideas for you yes he told me one thing find a good business partner what do you say do you want to be my business partner do you want to be my business partner okay so in all these questions how we have formed the question is did you use did at the beginning and then the subject and then the verb and then the verb okay let's look at this one simple past yes no questions and answers okay read liliana's notes for her report on blake mikoski then write the questions okay questions about blake mikoski second in the amazing race okay other businesses before toms sister start the business with him okay any experience in fashion company difficulties at the beginning okay he finished did he finish second in the amazing race did he finish second in the amazing race okay other businesses before toms we can say did he have other businesses before 
Tom's. No? Did he have other businesses before? Tom. Next one. His sister start start the business with him. Okay. Then we can ask. Did his sister start the business with him? Did his sister start the business with him? Any experience in fashion? Then we can say. Did he have any experience in fashion? Did he have any experience in fashion? And the last one is difficulties at the beginning. Did, did the company have difficulties at the beginning? Did the company have difficulties at the beginning okay so when you look at how all these questions have been formed you can always see did he have did he have have is the base form of the verb did this the uh, first word in the question so did did he finish so finish is the base form of the verb did this the question uh, the word that is used in the past tense to form the question did his sister start so start is start is the base form of the verb always did subject verb did he have so did subject verb did the company have did subject have did he finish did subject have uh, the verb did subject base form of the verb so always this is the pattern that is used in the past tense to form a question this is the pattern that is used in the past tense to form a question so you all need to know this particular rule to write sentences in the past tense